Hello and welcome. My name is Brian Newman, and I'm going to provide you an overview of my course, DevSecOps, Implementing Security and DevOps Processes. Let's talk about DevSecOps because that's what this course is all about. The purpose of this course is really to help you protect and secure your information systems today. If you're taking this course, I'm confident that you have some exposure to the term DevSecOps. That term is an abbreviated combination of development, security, and operations. DevSecOps focuses on ensuring that everyone in the software development lifecycle, from programmers to testers to operations staff, is accountable and empowered to implement security processes that protect the integrity of the software while maintaining agility and speed toward the end result of delivery. If you're familiar with DevOps methodology, it's a step up from that. It's taking DevOps and embracing and implementing security tools and methods alongside the concepts of continuous integration and continuous delivery. This course will provide a comprehensive overview of DevSecOps and how to implement it within existing DevOps processes. The instruction will be through 10 sections, and I'll provide more detail in the following video. In brief, though, here are the areas that this course will cover. In section 1, I will introduce the course and, and critical aspects of DevSecOps. In section 2, I will cover DevOps and continuous integration and continuous delivery. The focus will be on understanding the difference. Section 3 will focus on the emergence of DevSecOps and its benefits. Section 4 will be where I discuss the insertion of security into DevOps. Section 5 will focus on the practical implementation of tools and processes to utilize DevSecOps in your organization. Section 6 will focus on building security in the design phase. Securing code and software will be the focus of Section 7. Section 8's topic will be securing infrastructure. In Section 9, I will focus on the security of your production processes after software release. Finally, I will close out the course in Section 10 with an overview of, of significant concepts and additional resources for you to consider. This course is relevant to experienced cyber information, software, and infrastructure security professionals wanting to implement a successful DevSecOps program. As far as prerequisites go, these are suggestions but not mandatory. You will still get abundant training about software security and deploying secure software. It would be helpful to have some familiarity with software development. If you have experience with DevOps, that's even better. In this course, my goals are to help you understand the importance of securing and protecting DevOps pipelines, what the most significant threats to DevOps pipelines are, the software, hardware, network, and cloud infrastructure threats that exist today. Also, I want to let you know about the tools and the processes necessary for DevSecOps pipeline implementation. And finally, the practical steps necessary to protect your infrastructure while maintaining the agility to react to stakeholder needs. Here in this course, you will learn to maintain agility while securing software, cloud, and hardware infrastructure. You will understand the intersection between DevOps and DevSecOps and why security is more important than ever these days. You'll also learn about security vulnerabilities so that you can implement security initiatives that protect your DevOps pipelines. There's a lot to learn here, and some of it can be challenging and some of it can be complex. I will provide DevSecOps insight, explanations, illustrations, and the resources to help you succeed. I look forward to having you in the course.